customer demands co-worker's personal number. About 20 years ago my small company merged with another small company from another state. The other office closed and the employees were relocated to our office. Our office is on the east coast of the US. The other office was in a time zone one hour behind ours. One of the new co-workers had to leave about 30 minutes before 5 to meet a vendor fixing something. In their new house. About 5 minutes before 5 one of the other company's customers called us and I answered the phone. She wanted to talk to the new co-worker. I told her that co-worker was not in the office and offered to take a message. This led to a long argument. The customer was from the west coast of the US which is three hours behind us. The customer started by demanding to know why the coworker was not there when it was not even 2 p.m. I explained the time difference. Then she demanded my coworker's personal number so she could call her at home. I explained that I was not going to give our personal information about a coworker I had just recently met. The customer then assured me that the coworker had given out her former home number, no cell phone, and that the coworker would be very upset if the customer was unable to reach her at her new home. I didn't engage that argument because it was stupid. Finally, the customer accepted that she was not going to talk to the coworker and asked if someone else could help. The answer was no, because it was well after 5 p.m. and everyone else had left and I was not yet trained on the new product. This brought us right back to that fact that closing at 2 p.m. was ridiculous. I explained again that it is 5 p.m. where I was. We simply do not have enough employees to be covering every time zone on the planet. We have customers all over the world. We don't open five hours early for European customers. We don't stay open 8 hours late for Australian customers and we don't stay open 3 hours late for Californian customers. We use East Coast hours because those work best for our handful of employees and their families. Customers are generally our understanding and nothing we do is that time sensitive that it cannot wait until the next day. I finally said that the only choices were to try again tomorrow or I can take a message and give it. To the coworker, the customer finally agreed to give me a message but she insisted that the coworker call her. First thing, I assured her I would tell the coworker exactly that. So when the coworker came in the next day at 9 am I she complied and immediately called the customer back. It was 6 am her time. Woke her up. Maybe she was a flat earther so she doesn't believe in time zones. Fucking time zones. How do they work? This is why my brother, who's lived in California for over 40 years, always tells me, call me at 9, my time. He knows I'll call him at 9 Eastern time just to irritate him. Because that's what brothers do. Back to the subject, I've been in this position. I ran credit and collections for a company in the central time zone and I'd hear it from both Eastern and Pacific folks. I called you at 4.30. Why didn't you answer? Because it was 6.30 here. And I leave at 5.30 unless I'm expecting a call. I called you at 8 this morning. Why didn't anyone pick up? Because it was 7 here and we open at 8. Then they'd get all upset and demand to speak to my boss or the company president both of whom understood time zones and other such complicated ideas. I would stay late on Friday afternoons just for my Pacific time zone customers, some of whom appreciated it. We could discuss their situations without worrying about other calls and make some progress. Perfect response. You're only doing your best to ensure customer satisfaction, after all. Ha 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 ha! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! I hope the customer is not a morning person. Ha ha ha! The inability to tell time on the opposite coast goes each way.
I'm a Californian who used to get chewed out regularly because I was neither available at 5.30 a.m. or 12 p.m., 8.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. East Coast. I had one guy who would yell at me, why the hell aren't you at your desk at 8.30? On the regular, I would explain the time difference each time. Once he told me that California was stupid and should be on est um. Longitude anyone? Nothing like waking someone up, first thing in the morning. I kept waiting for the malicious compliance and then bam. There it was in the very last bit. Exclamation mark. We are West Coast. But we would get angry emails from customers who complain that they have been calling for an hour. Since 8 a.m. and we are supposed to be open and why are they getting a message to call during normal hours? Without fail I will look at the timestamp of the email and it will always show at least in 1 to 3 hours before we opened out time. Which would be around 5 to 7 a.m. I don't understand how people cannot understand time zones. I was an army wife for 22 of my husband's 24-year career. We lived in many different time zones during his career. Then our son was stationed in Iraqi and I knew the time zone difference. My DIL's family are in Taiwan and I know the time difference there as well. Good grief it really is not difficult. Your coworker gave the rude person exactly what she demanded. Very satisfying story to read. Anritsu? Should have called her even earlier to wake her up that much more and JSUT say, we're terribly sorry. Ma'am. We just thought we'd get on this before our opening time to make sure it's done correctly. Shall we call back later? Quote. That was a timely tale. I am counting the minutes until we get a second story. I'll be on the watch for another. I hope it makes me Rolex on the ground laughing. Time zone stuff aside. Never give out someone else's or your own personal number. Literally one person gets it. And suddenly all costumers think they have a hack to get help faster by calling Steve's cell number instead of the support number. So what did the customer do at 6 a.m.? Did she go ahead and work on the problem? Or complain that she was being called at 6 a.m.? Like she asked to be. People can be really dumb. Time zones don't exist if the world is flat. Extra ridiculous these days when we can set the time for different time zones in our life. I have a friend who lives in New Zealand. So I have her time zone on my phone. My nephew lived on the west coast for a couple years. While we are on eastern time zone. So had his time zone on the phone. So simple and wonderful to have handy. Served her right. If you enjoyed this video. Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like share, and subscribe.